Welcome, hello, Vibers community. It's me, Patricia. So today, we're going to talk about anxiety. What is anxiety? It is excessive, intense, overwhelming feeling of worry and fear. And it's normal in some cases, but not all cases. (sighs) Example of normal cases of having to public speak a test, it's normal to feel a little anxiety, but it becomes a problem when it becomes excessive and we cannot maintain or we cannot make it through the day because we have so much going on that we can't deal. And so what I'm going to do right now, I had a couple of my good friends um, or the Vibers community um, supporters, I asked the question, what is anxiety? to them and so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you what these young ladies said because it may touch you so i want you to stop what you're doing and pause whatever it is and just listen to these ladies because they were vulnerable and i so appreciate them for taking time out to be open and to share what anxiety is to them and it might help you so make sure you pay attention because anxiety is okay to have it but we need to make sure we can deal with it and if you need help we can help you we can find help for you and today I want to talk to you about anxiety. Anxiety can be effective in many different ways like uh, speaking publicly in front of a lot of people or taking a test and one stressful thing that can be very stressful for you and cause you to be very anxious can not be stressful to someone else but that doesn't mean your feelings are any less I'm also a person that suffers or struggles with anxiety as well. When I have to go out to a store by myself, or if I'm just doing something by myself, or if I'm going out to a party um, and I have friends that are going to be there, but I'm still anxious on the way there and I'm just making all these thoughts in my head like, what if they don't show up? What if I'm the only one that's going to be there um and I'm just going to be alone by myself those thoughts popped into my head and it makes me very anxious there are many ways to deal with anxiety like going to see a therapist or doing self-care days or just writing in a journal planting um staging um anxiety games and just stuff like that you know It can really calm the mind down and just make you be one with yourself. Anxiety is very nationwide. There are millions of people around the world that have to deal with anxiety and stress. And just knowing that you are not the only one and there are people around you that deal with that as well, you have to understand that you are not by yourself. There is always going to be help for you. To anybody out there with anxiety, you are not alone. There are people that are here to help you, and you will be okay. I promise you that. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Toya T, and I just wanted to stop by and give a quick little video about anxiety. Anxiety for me is, I think, not having the ability to control a situation and not really trusting the people around me to step in in a way that I think I would trust. Um, I think what has helped me to deal with my anxiety more is my relationship with God. And just knowing that even the birds don't worry about where their next meal is going to come from. The birds don't worry about how they're going to have a nest for their babies. Like, The birds are provided for. So if the least of us in the birds are provided for by God, why won't he provide for you? So if nothing else, trust God. Try some artistic forms to help with your anxiety because there are so many things that just help us to just zone out and go into your Zen place. And candles are great for that. So with that, have a good evening. Hi, so my name is Aspen Mo. I am the founder of nonprofit Hidden Gems. 
Um, so the question was, what does anxiety mean to me? I have such an interesting relationship with anxiety because I'm 28 years old and I feel like I'm really just starting to understand what anxiety is. Um, so I started to have anxiety attacks about maybe a year ago when I was like under stressful situations. Mainly I was in, I was taking a course, like a very high intense course. And every time we had a test, I would have like these panic attacks to where like I couldn't breathe after go outside. And Steph and I was just like, that's crazy because I've never had anxiety before this. I never thought that I experienced anxiety before that. That's what I thought anxiety was, those panic attacks that I was having. I was like, I'm 27 years old. Now I'm all of a sudden having anxiety attacks. So that was um, what I associated with anxiety was not being able to breathe, passing out, like getting anxious, things like that. But I have such a new understanding for anxiety now. Like um, the more I grow in my business and meet people, other entrepreneurs, the more that I self-educate and um, just go into these spaces where people are sharing their experiences and and knowledge on these like mental health and things like that. I realize that anxiety is so much more common than you think. Like it doesn't have to be in the form of a panic attack or like some big thing where you can't breathe. Anxiety can be something as simple as just not being able to show up as yourself in that moment for whatever the reasons may be, for varying reasons. Like I thought that I was like an extremely shy person growing up, which could be true. I could have, you know, was shy. But now I understand that what I was experiencing a lot of times was anxiety, social anxiety. Like I would be in settings to where I wanted to be myself. I wanted to be my goofy self. Like everybody's having fun. I wanted to join in the fun, but I was physically unable to do so. Like a song would come on that I know that I wanted to dance to and my body just wouldn't move. Like I was experiencing social anxiety or like when I'm in a room with people who intimidate me and I can't get my words out and I stutter that's another form of anxiety I think anxiety is um something that's real personal like it's hard to put a definition on it but it's whatever makes you feel out of place and make you feel like you can't show up as your whole self in that moment because something is restrict like some you have a mental block something is restricting you from being yourself that's what I associate with anxiety. Or um, also triggers for past trauma can be associated with anxiety. Like you ever just had a thought of something that happened and like your heart start pounding and you start sweating. It don't even have to be a present threat, but a thought back or like the sound of someone's voice or whatever it may be, a song reminds you of something and then like your heartbeat skips you stutter that's anxiety too so it's really personal whatever it means to you and you always have to find ways to cope find ways to cope when you have those feelings because that's the only way you get over it whatever it is for you it could be ice cream it could be watching a movie it could be having some wine it could just be taking a moment to breathe whatever you need to do to cope with that with those feelings do it because you deserve it so anxiety for me especially as a new business owner is critiquing every little thing that i do like for instance trying to figure out like where i should start where as far as like getting my products so that i can like have them on hand or should i just do everything online it's just like telling myself like i can't do this until i do this like trying to f make sure i have everything perfectly before i step out so anxiety is what stops you from taking that leap and stepping out on faith to get things going, especially for like a small business owner. So what I'd say is just do it, just step out, take that step. Don't let anxiety get in the way because it always will try to. Um, it's something I've struggled with for a while, but I've learned that so I learned that when anxiety feels like it's about to come over you, when you're about to step out and do something, to just step out and do it. Just go ahead and do it, um, even if you feel 
like it's gonna flop just do it like just do whatever it is that you need to get done for your business go get that llc go get um your products go invest in your business and buy some shirts and buy some bundles whatever it is that you're trying to sell or you know start practicing that skills just do whatever it is that you got to do to get it going because anxiety is just there to just scare you anxiety to me is a state of mind it's when you are negative in your mind if you are over analyzing overthinking talking yourself out of things that's what i've experienced with anxiety but there is a way to correct it and it's through meditation positive thinking positive thoughts positive affirmations and belief you have to have faith you think about a thing and you believe that it's going to be done and you don't worry about it so for me anxiety is worry and you can't have faith and worry at the same time my name is Artanisha and I suffer from anxiety. Anxiety can be a very crippling disease. Most people like myself who suffer from anxiety suffer from it in silence. I recall as a young child just always being fearful of things around me, people around me, situations that were occurring. And I know that my anxiety is a result of my trauma. For someone like myself who loves to be in control, um, anxiety can take that away from you. Cause it's a feeling of you know not having control um just a constant feeling of panic um anguish uh doubt worry um and there's not a lot that you know externally that can take that feeling away it's like always feeling like you're on the verge of tears it's like always feel like a lump in your throat like your speech is always shaky it's like your heart constantly pounding uncontrollably it's like creating stories in your head that doesn't really exist that's anxiety and i live with it every day and i found tools for myself to help me cope and manage my anxiety and i hope that you can do the same for yourself Sending you love and light always. Okay, first and foremost, I want to say thank you and I truly appreciate each and every, each and every one of you ladies who um, was open and willing to share what anxiety is to you. And so what we can see from this is there's different type of anxieties for different type of people. Everyone is not going to have the same type of anxiety. And so some of our triggers what I can tell from myself as well, which some of the other ladies were saying is like maybe public speaking, taking a test, having to go to the grocery store, having to decide what to eat for dinner, um, just putting your, your trust in someone else, um, being consistent, um, having to go and uh, socialize with people, having to go spend time with family members, having to go to work, having to worry about money, there's so many different things, especially with what's going on in the world today. There's way much more anxiety. That's just so much chaos, you know, but, um, but there's things that we can do to help cope with anxiety. For example, meditation is one thing that I love to do. I do meditation. I sit quietly, prayer, journaling. I love to journal, get my thoughts out. Um, even, even record yourself if you don't want to write it down and record what's going on in your life. Um, as well as going for walks in nature, prayer. There's many things that you can do. Uh, change your way of eating, affirmations, and so there's much more.